All right, all right. My job is easy. I just want to say, welcome. This is huge. The fact that you are here is huge. Man. We all need to be looking out for ourselves and looking out for one another. So this health fair is our tithe and offering, if you will, to the community. And you being here is all part of glorifying our maker, so who's given us life. And we want to do everything that we can to preserve that life. Welcome and thank you for uh, allowing us the privilege of hosting this fair and partnering with you. I see great things happening in this partnership. We welcome you, and my friend is going to share with you all the necessaries, uh, necessary information such as bathrooms and all the other good things. But, well, would you please join me in a word of prayer? Let us pray. Eternal my God, we are grateful for life. Every time we open our eyes in the morning, it is a miracle. And we're thankful for every day that we have the opportunity not just to live, but to bless others with love and care. Lord, we pray that you continue to bless this group, all of the leaders, all the volunteers, all the professionals that have come to help one another. Your word tells us when we were hungry, you fed us. Uh, when, when, you were, when you were thirsty, I gave you drink. Uh, when I was sick, you came and visited me. This is all part of that Matthew 25 effort. We pray that you would bless our efforts today and be with us. Uh, provide safe and healthy and healing for all of those who have come to this event. We give you praise, glory, and thanks. In your holy and precious name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, thank you so much, Pastor. So, uh, thank you again for being here today. I want to start by saying thank you to all the vendors. Without you, this event will never have happened. So, I want you to really understand that what you guys are doing for this community is huge. And when I say this community, it's like people from the SSDC and everybody, any other communities around, including the one that we invited from so far from here, we are here today. We are glad that you come in here for this specific event. Now, this event was put by, uh, started by Cohel. Cohel is a non-profit organization. We have been doing this type of event for the past few years. And then we, this year, have partnered with the Great Council Department of Health. Uh, that is said by uh, Sam here on the HIV testing side. We want to thank you also for this partnership for putting this event together. And I want to thank all the COVID founders for the that you know they will happen as well. Thank you to Dr. Natalie here. She's one of the lead person who actually started this initiative of putting this event together. I want to thank her because the whole project came from here seven years ago. And we started implementing that and here we are today still working on that. Thank you, Dr. Kande. Thank you, Dr. Lolo. He's probably somewhere. He's basically one of our big leaders. He's an operator, you know, in the back there. Thank you again for all your support. Thank you for all the providers. Thank you for all the vendors, thank you for working and everybody else coming here to support us today. I'm not going to name everybody, but you know all that are here and thank you so much for being here. Now, a few things for today. Uh, the event is going to be a little bit uh, different from other health fairs. We are prioritizing uh, clinical screening. And then the screening basically is not designed to diagnose anyone's day, right? But it's the first step of understanding sometimes two things about your own health. That's what you're here today for. So don't expect to be diagnosed with something, but expect to have some screening done, and potentially you can have a follow up uh, after that if uh, anything uh, is in concern for those screening. Now, in here, in this hall, we're going to have the various services, the blood pressure testing, blood glucose testing, all the point of care testing will be on one side. And then after that, you will have some of the providers, the nutritionists, and also uh, someone for weight loss next to them. After that, the oncology clinic is also there for those who may have a concern, questions about their health, regarding that specific end, you have also someone on site for that. Now, next to that, there's a unit testing site also as well. We're going to have some really basic unit screening done as well today. And then after that, right behind, you have providers. There are medical doctors, you know, at DNP. They are here to assist you to answer any flow of pressure you may have after your test are done. Now, on this side, on my left over here, we have all the vaccine stations. We have work with all the flu vaccines. We have next to them, uh, we have, uh, this is Safeway with the uh, COVID vaccines and boosters. And then next to them, we have the Department of Health with the children vaccines. So those who have kids, 
who wants to have them vaccinated today, please stop at that table, register your key, and then they will, they will take care of you as well. Now, in the back, in the back of the church, we have a site, a mental health station, for those who have any questions related to that, we have professional on site for you on that, and we have OBG, uh, one of the, gyne the gynecologists is on site as well for any question related to that, uh, to gynecology. Now, in front of that, we have a specific patient there for HIV testing, and that the patient that's needed by some of the Department of Health as well. And then in there, you can have a little gift card for those who get tested today as well. Now, next to that station, there's an HIV station. That's for hepatitis C testing. They're going to be there on site. So, stop at that station, and then for them, they usually, they can either give you a quick result on site, or they can medit to you. I think they have those options. Now, after that, the expectation for us is for everybody to have a single floor. You don't come out of the church from the back. Because when you come out of the church on the back door, you have the vendors outside. And then those vendors also have great information for you. Could be for medical insurance, could be for those who don't have any coverage, those who are looking for anywhere to get food, those who looking for other things, please you have them outside. And you're gonna end with one of the biggest providers of the day, which is Mana Food. So Mana Food is on site. They have 200 boxes of fresh food, and that's gonna be provided for those who will come to them when they are still available. So thank you again for Mana Food for the great support, and I get to see
So once again, uh, thank you, County uh, Delegate Laurie, for being here today uh, for this health fair that we're organizing at the Silver Spring Presbyterian Church. We are so happy to have you among us today, and we invited you so that you can see what the community, we, what we have been doing for the community, and then also see how you know the county can, at some point, maybe in the future, to have some impact on this kind of in, you know, initiative from us. So, uh, what is your impression? You have a few words to share with the community. That would be great. Yes, sure. Well, um, so do you want me to hold this? I'm uh, good. Good. Good afternoon. I'm Delegate Lori Charcutian, and I represent this district, Silver Spring, and Tacoma Park, and White Oak, and the Maryland General Assembly. Um, and thank you for inviting me. And thank you to CoHealth for all the doctors and all the providers who are members of CoHealth who put your personal time and effort and money into making this a reality. Because um, looking around here, first of all, I have to say I'm just so impressed. Um, it's extraordinary. I have been to many health fairs. I uh, rarely see them as busy as this one is. So you've done an extraordinary job, not only so many aspects of what people may need help with here, the blood pressure, the vaccines, and the blood tests, and the urine tests, and the mental health as well, to include mental health, which is so important right now, um, HIV testing, uh, and the, but, but the outreach that you've done, and the trust that, your communi that this community has in you, um, because I just see so many people here, and so it just says a lot about not only the provision of the services, but also um, the trust that the community has, and the outreach, and the connections that you have so that's extraordinary uh, and I want to thank you for that I want to thank the Silver Spring Presbyterian Church for hosting um, what a really important role that is for this community and and finally I just want to say that I'm here um, I'm always working on improving state policy I've done a lot of work on Medicaid access on, on, on health care debt and relieving people of their health care debt and health care access mental health access and I'm always wanting to learn more about how we can do better as a state and so when I come and I see this not only do I get to thank you but I also get to learn about what we need to to improve at the state level in terms of making sure everyone in our community is cared for and I'm fully committed to continuing to do that. Uh, thank you so much Delegate Laurie and this is definitely uh, a chance for us to tell you that we do this for the community because we understand that you know it's a all in all effort from all of us right you do your part we also try to do our part in other end and then we need to find the gap how can we close the gap so that we can all serve the same purposes of helping and this community that people that you see here are mostly underserved right most of them they may not have medical insurance maybe because they don't have the information right they don't have no the reach how to get those information we are trying to bring that to them and then uh, it's an opportunity for us to tell you that you know any support that you can provide to our organization to this church or whatever organization we're working with will be greatly appreciated Right, we're hoping that we're going to have the opportunity to connect with you as well, with your office or someone from your office at some point to see how we can put this type of event more and more in the county to reach out to those communities. Yeah, well I appreciate that and now that I'm learning about what you're doing and seeing how beneficial and impactful it is, um, I hope we do get, I hope this is the beginning of a long relationship that we get to work together on, on health care access, on healthy communities, on mental health, all of these pieces and I look forward to working in partnership with you on that. Thank you so much. We really definitely have to thank you for all of us, you know, all the organizers, the church, the pastors, you know, all the organizers. Right, the pastor's wife is also there. She's been happy since this morning. <laughs> yes. So definitely, uh, and right, it's an opportunity to also, if you have more time, we're going to go around so that you can talk to the vendors. Without them, none of this also would have been possible, right? We put the time in, we put everything we can to organize this, but if they don't, if they don't answer the call by being here, serving the community, there is no way that we're going to provide this to them. So we really want you to thank also those vendors. We're going to stop by their stations so that you can share a word with them to encourage them that next time when we make the phone call, they are still willing Absolutely. to come and continue. To Absolutely, I look forward to doing that. Yes, one. Hi, I'm Dr. Florence Ngu Tindong. I just want to say that I wanted to thank SSPC, our pastor, Dr. Hankins, and the wife, because without them accepting and the session, this would not have happened. Linda has been a very great 
influence in this church. She is very hardworking. I'm telling you, she is a very hardworking. We've had a lot of pastor's wife, but she is into everything and she makes sure that things are organized properly in the church. So I want to really thank them for taking that time to doing this because if they did not accept it, because pastor was very into it and was so happy to really accept us faithfully and was excited about this. So I just want to thank him and everybody that participated here and to thank Linda for always standing behind us. So if she has something, let her just say something on behalf of the church and thank you. <laughs> thank you all. My name is Linda Hankins. This event is extraordinary. I've never seen anything like this. I wish this to continue. I look forward to working with each and every one of you and thank you for thinking of Silver Spring Presbyterian Church for having this event. Thank you. Yes, and a few of these, uh, uh, I just want to also reinforce something very important here. This whole idea about this, all these things happening here today started seven years ago from Dr. Kempsey over here. So she was the one who started these whole ideas. And we joined her and then we brought this together. Dr. Camden joined her too. Dr. Siagat, myself, I joined. Dr. Leno, he's outside, uh, back there doing the eye exam, so busy. Yes, he joined the call as well. We have two technicians outside, Collins and, and uh, Ashiel. They are doing all the technical part of it, registering people, making sure that we can capture them, make sure that they follow the path. So hard worker as well. I want to thank the team because without them, we cannot also make this the church, opening the door. The county is supporting us now. We're hoping to do more and more. This is what's going to give us more energy to continue. I want to give them, they can share something. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm Dr. Kamsu, but I'm also a pastor, so I really want to say thank to our Lord Jesus Christ for giving us this great opportunity. And what I want to say is like, um, what you say is, is beautiful and it's huge, but I tell you the truth, we can do even more than this. That's why we're calling all people that can help us. The county, we need grants, we need to support everything that we need to make this a huge and more productive uh, event. So we really want to thank everybody. Like Dr. Siaga said, we are co-health and we really want to make a great impact in our community. We thank you for the county and everybody supporting us today. Okay. I'm Dr. Camden. I'm also one of the Go Health co-founder, so I'm not going to come back to what they already said. I just want to stress on the fact that uh, this is uh, a lot of our, of our time, our money, and I'll say a lot of expertise, uh, expertise from all of us. Once again, we will need you guys' help. Honestly, I think if we come together, we'll do great things. And once again, I want to say thank you to the church for hosting us. And it's been a blessing and it's always going to be a pleasure for us to come back if the doors are open. And we are hoping to do more, more because we can have more provider in, we can have more people in, but we need the financial piece of it to help because we've been working with our own money. And so having outside support financially will also be a big help for us. Thank you once again for coming.